right, so hopefully the audio settings are going to be okay today. Um, I've got my media mod for my GoPro 11 at home, left on the desk. Uh, I didn't realize that until I got here that I happen to have a uh, wind slayer for a GoPro 7. And I just kind of set that over my 11. You know, it doesn't really fit right. Uh, hopefully it'll make you. Um, so since I've been out on the bike, uh, we've done a couple of mods. Uh, I got the Fastways Evo Air. I think it's like three or four. It's whatever the newest one is. Uh, there's some pretty trick looking foot pegs. So we're going to try those out today. Um, I actually got some bar risers. I got the uh, KTM OEM bar risers in a um, 10 millimeter. So we raise the bars up a little bit. So hopefully that's going to help me when I'm standing. And I got a new tire. I got a new front tire. This is a Tusk. Uh, EMX, uh, I think it's the, whatever the uh, softer compound one is, which might come in handy today, there's a lot of mud out, uh, so that's going to be cool, we'll try that out. I've had that tire, I've had those pegs, I've had those bar riders mounted up since the second week of January, and this is the first time we're coming out to use them, so, um, you know, try them out, hopefully it all works out and it's all good. I mean, the pegs look, look pretty trick for sure, like, those are going to be nice. Hopefully the bar riser is going to be in a good position where I'm going to like them. Um, I just I felt like the stock rise is just too low, and I feel like I was hunched over too much, so hopefully that's going to help me with my uh, riding posture. Uh, we got a new mount, got a new mount for my GoPro. Hopefully that gives us a better angle. Um, but yeah, we're going to hop on the bike, we're going to cruise out. Uh, there was probably like at least 30 dirt bikes that came through right now. Um, but we want to get ahead of this big group of razors. this thing on. There you go. Go ahead out the party line. You see all the buttons. It's pretty funny. Alright, buddy. Hopefully that new front tire can take that pretty good. Oh, a lot of razors.
One thing about coming out here, um, the views are endless. Like I know the GoPro, like you don't really see the field of view. Like, when you see the field of view, you just don't get the depth. Okay, I wasn't even recorded. I don't know if I take a big camper down here, but I mean, maybe if you got like a small little pop up trailer, like a little pop up, even like a small motorhome, but I, I feel like it'd be more for like uh, tank camping and uh, like motor van stuff. But it's like a pretty nice little spot to stay at. Not far from the water, not so little, fireplaces. Yeah, 
like here's another little hill you could go up. Oh yeah, I didn't even see this. Look at the little, little stream running in between right there. That's kind of cool. Six or seven um, spots. Six or seven spots in the box so there was some trash cans, the grills, the fire. Pit. So yeah. Not a bad little spot to stay at. Alright guys, so we're almost to the reservoir. The reservoir is just a little bit um, over this little hill, but there's a couple of little um, trails back here. We'll go rip on them for a minute, just go try them out. I don't think it's anything too steep, uh, but there's a couple of them that are like kind of low land trails that don't really take you up into the hills, and um, those are always fun. Problem is if we start doing hill climbs, we're going to be way up there really fast. And then uh, to get back down to the reservoir, we're going to have to come way down them. Like they're pretty steep. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? What in the hell happened there? I think this is like a little turn track for pit bikes here.
Fucker. But there's the reservoir. Water level doesn't look too bad. Um, we'll probably go putt around here for a little bit and then we'll make our way probably to the north end of the, uh, to the reservoir. Go check it out over there. Uh, the sun came out for a minute and it got a little warmer. It's not that bad. Like back there by Walker Ridge Road, like where we first staged, it was frigid. Uh, it was cold. Like I was expecting to see ice or snow since it rained the other day. Um, Luckily there wasn't and so far it's been good, but It's a little bit warmer now. So we'll head um, out towards that direction um, Just getting a little shot of the lake, but or reservoir I guess you call it, but yeah, so far so good It was a little slick um, at the start pretty pretty muddy But back here there's a lot more gravel on the ground and it's more like uh, fire road double track type and um, The ground's a lot more rideable back here but, uh, there's a couple of trucks coming, uh, so we'll just head on our way. Go hit this one. A big ass hill there's about four or five guys sitting at the bottom of it so maybe they just came down it we just saw about six or seven guys just go up it
joy. My guess is those guys are looking to set up to shoot guns. So. Luckily, I just ripped that little area beforehand. Because it looked like where I was at over there earlier, it looked like a little popular uh, place for people to shoot. There was a crap ton of shotgun shells and bullet casings everywhere. <laughs> Pretty disgusting, actually. You know, you're out here in the middle of uh, the wilderness, you know, or nature, I guess, but it's super nice green everything and then you come around and there's freaking trash everywhere just like fucking shithole <laughs> and this guy's in a freaking tundra thinking he's the shit and that guy's in a ranger stranger danger shit all right well i guess we're going to uh attempt one of these hill climbs Can't really see where it takes you at the top. Uh, we're gonna stop for a sec. <laughs> 